The Q20 differential scanning calorimeter is used to measure the heat flow of a sample with respect to temperature. It helps to characterize the thermal behavior and transitions of a sample. The Q20 heat flux DSC works by trying to maintain the reference and sample pans at a constant temperature. But since the sample has a heat capacity, a differential heat flow is needed and recorded. Wear gloves and safety goggles when using this machine. The DSC can be used to test any kind of material. Solid samples use the flatter standard pan and lid, while liquid samples use the deeper hermetic pan and lid. To make the sample, the pan and contents must be weighed and then pressed. First tear the pan on the scale and then add 5 to 10 milligrams of sample. The contents should be spread evenly over the pan. Then carefully replace the sample pan back onto the scale to find the sample weight. Once the sample is weighed out, place the lid on and put the sample in the pressed kit to seal it. The green holders are for standard pans and the blue holders are for hermetic pans. Place the sample in the bottom holder and place both holder parts into the machine. Then lift the letter and lightly pull down to seal the sample. Don't apply too much pressure as the pan might be crushed. For the reference pan, simply place the lid on the proper pan and put it in the press. The sample chamber consists of a sample cover, outer lid, and an inner lid. Remove each of these to reach the samples. There are two pan positions inside the chamber, one for the reference pan and one for the sample pan. Using the tweezers, place the reference pan in the position that is farthest away and the sample pan closer to you. Replace the inner lid, making sure it is centered, then add the middle and the top lid. Check to see that the nitrogen is on and the knob is open for the DSC. To open the software, click the TA Instrument Explorer and open up the Q20 software. The information in the top right corner shows the current conditions. Check to see that the sample purge flow is set at 50 milliliters per minute. In the summary tab, make sure the mode is set on standard and the test is set as custom. The pan should be aluminum. Then specify the sample name, weight, and choose the file name and location. In the procedure tab, edit the method for your experiment. Most tests have an equilibrate step at room temperature, followed by a ramp to a certain temperature at a certain rate. The maximum temperature for the Q20 is 500 degrees Celsius. A variety of heating rates as high as 30 K per minute can be used, and isothermal steps can be added depending on the type of test. Enter your name and any additional notes about the run under the Notes tab. After all your changes are made, click Apply at the bottom of the page. After all your information is set, press the Start button in the upper left corner. This is an example graph showing the heat flow as a function of temperature. To run another sample, the DSC must cool down. Since this DSC can only control the heating process, the instrument only cools very slowly. Liquid nitrogen can be added to accelerate this process or to cool the DSC for subroom temperature experiments. Pour liquid nitrogen into the liquid nitrogen accessory. Make sure to use gloves when handling the liquid nitrogen. If you need to get the instrument down to subroom temperatures, start the run and then add the liquid nitrogen until your desired temperature is reached. When your testing is finished, turn off the nitrogen. If the TGA is being used, then just turn off the knob for your machine. Remove all samples from the DSC.